has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet, I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular, unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal and to deluvian evil. step unsettled the ancient earth but we were in a realm of death and madness in the end i alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity until consciousness failed me you remember our venerable house opulent and imperial it is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. What's up, everybody? I am Sniggenhoff, and today we're going to play Darkest Dungeon, and Darkest Dungeon is about making the most of a bad situation. Quests will fail or must be abandoned. Heroes will die, and when they die, they stay dead. Progress saves, auto saves constantly, so actions are permanent. The game expects a lot out of you. How far will you push your adventures? How much are you willing to risk in the quest to restore the hamlet? What will you sacrifice to save the life of your favorite hero? Thankfully, there are always fresh, so fresh souls arriving on the stagecoach, seeking both adventure and fame in the shadow of the Darkest Dungeon. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is a game I've had since it was an early access a couple years ago. I really enjoy it. It's a roguelike dungeon crawler with some turn-based combat, a lot of Lovecraftian like influences on the, the lore and the look of it. It's really cool, a really cool game, really well put together. But I've never beaten it, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. And you guys can come along on the journey with me. So let's go ahead and hop in. I'm going to play on Darkest Difficulty. Name this the... Snegenhoff Estate, and we'll jump right in. How's that sound? You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. Without madness, the old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. With the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the hamlet on foot. We'll deal more with the caretaker later. He keeps popping up all over the place. If we ever load in, I believe. A hey. So how this game works, first of all, you um, when you crawl through the dungeon, you go from room, this is a, a room on the map, to another room, and you walk through a hallway. And in the hallway, there, there can be various different things. Curios that you can loot, or battles that will pop up, or traps, other things like that. When you get into combat, um, each character has four moves. 
Uh, and it, it, the moves that they have depend on their class, and then each class has seven moves to choose from, and you can only take four in. And each move can only be used at a certain spot in the party, which are these yellow dots right here. So Smite here can only be used in the first two spots of the party. That, that you can have four in your party. First two spots, first two spots, first two spots, first first two spots. The Crusader, this guy, wants to be in the front of the party. And then also can only affect certain spots in the enemy party. Uh, first two spots, first two spots, first two spots. And this is just a buff. Uh, whereas our Highwayman over here, he can use this as far back as the third spot. Uh, this can be used as far back as the fourth spot. and can hit as far back as the fourth spot. Can only be used in the middle two spots. Can hit all three of the first spots and uh, from any of the four to one of the back three. That's kind of the way combat works. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just get uh, the move on. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. All right, so you can kind of you'll be able to kind of see how combat works. Fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Um, I think there's a roll to decide who goes first, and it also has to do with your speed. Um, so I, I think Dismas is faster than Ren Renard, Renald, but I think Renald does have a chance to go first. Uh, but we'll go ahead and use Open Vein on this guy. Just a quick stab and a chance to bleed, which we got, plus a debuff. And we'll just use Smite, smack him in the face. And he's dead. Hooray, we did it. We're the best. And this is an example of something you can loot. Not always is it that easy to get loot out of stuff. And then this dude here, he's a big enemy, so he actually takes up the first two, both of the first two slots in the party. Uh, so like Open Vein here can only hit him because he's in both the first two slots. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this guy out first. He's got that AOE attack that I really want to be rid of. And then I can't hit this guy with him at all, so I'm gonna go try and go ahead and try to stun the big dude. And it worked. When you're stunned, you lose your next action and gain a resist to stun for a round. Um, I could do grape shot to try to if if I think I can get the four damage out of grape shot to kill him, then getting the extra damage over here is fine. But I don't think I will, because his damage is 3 to 5. And then Grape Shot has a minus 60% damage modifier, because it's AoE. So I don't think I'm going to get the 4. Even if I got like a max roll, I don't think I'll get the 4 out of that. So let's just go ahead and um, hit him with the pistol shot. And we got there. Oh, it shows the damage of the move. Okay, so it was 3 to 5. Sorry. It was 3 to 5 before that move. So we needed... Hmm. We had a two, two out of three chance, I guess, to get there. Maybe that would have been better. It's been a little while since I played this, so I don't remember all the way the mechanics work. Just go ahead and hit him with that, try to get him to bleed. Yeah. Two damage per round for three rounds, and it ticks before he takes his action. So if you're able to get him down to where the bleed will kill him, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, he doesn't have a stun resist up anymore, so let's go ahead and try to stun him again. And we did to get a free bleed off and take less damage. And bleed him some more. Now it's four damage per round, for three rounds. And I think I'll be able to just finish him off there. Size alone does not the sharpened blade. Um, I could loot this chest, but because I played it before, I happen to know it's trapped, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Got 1,500 gold and a couple... Uh, crests out of that, which is nice. And then at the end of each mission, uh, your people have a chance to get a positive or negative uh, quirk or trait. Um, he got bloodthirsty. He's fascinated with wounds, injury, and torture, which is bad. It means he'll want to touch things, like touch curios and stuff as we walk through. Anytime that they're touching things, it's bad. Like, without your supervision. And clutch hitter, plus three crit if, if HP is below 50%. That's not bad. And then Warren Scrounger, plus 10% scouting chance on Warrens, which is great. Always, scouting is always very good. We'll get to that later on, obviously. But. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. So this is the hamlet. This is kind of home, ba home base where you'll be doing 
where we'll be doing all of our missions out of, essentially, and upgrading our heroes and doing other things. Upgrading our, yeah, heroes, we'll call them heroes. Other stuff like that. Currently, we've unlocked three buildings. We'll unlock more as we go along. The graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Uh, that's where we'll see dead people, the people who have died. You can go back and look. And remember, um, Ancestors Memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Uh, we can go back and watch all the cutscenes here. The one that really matters, however, is the stagecoach. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. So we've all got two people to recruit. Their way to us now that the road is clear. All right, now you're done talking. We've got two people to recruit. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Uh, it's always a plague doctor and a vestal, the first two you recruit, but they do have random traits and moves. Uh, plus 15 damage in the ruins is fine, although he doesn't normally do like straight damage. He'll he poisons people, and minus 3% crit if below 50%. Also, uh, that's actually not all that bad with him because he doesn't do straight damage. Uh, minus 20% weapon upgrade cost, not bad at all, and minus 15% damage on the first round. She also is not here to do damage; she's here to heal. Uh, so that's not all that bad either. Um, one thing I do want to do, I want to upgrade my stage co coach network. I kind of want to upgrade it twice. I'm one deed away from getting there. Let's see if I can trade crests. I can trade three crests for one deed. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That way at the end of the next mission, I'll get four heroes. In this domain of the damned. I'll get four heroes, so I can go have a full another party ready to go if I need it. And let's go ahead and embark on our next mission. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So I have two places I can go. First of all, to the ruins on a short quest. This is an apprentice level one quest. Uh, it will give us three thousand gold, four quest, four crests, and a health stone trinket plus ten percent max HP minus one speed it's okay probably be decent on R Rinald or someone like a tank or we could go straight and try to go do the darkest dungeon uh, which is uh, medium length and is a darkest level uh, quest for level six heroes and uh, I think if we put our people here they'll be like saying that they don't want to go yeah uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do this I think there is an achievement to send like four level zeros or level ones into the Dark extension, but we're not gonna worry about that. Like, worry about that right now. Um, you have incision, so you kind of want to be in the third spot. Where? What do you have? You can do everything except for this from the from the from the fourth spot. So yeah, we'll flip those two around. The usual suspects. Um, and we will go ahead and go to provision. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. So yeah, we have to buy buy supplies before we head out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a full stack of food, even though I probably won't need it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a full stack of torches. Also, I probably won't need it. Two shovels, two keys, and then I like to buy like one of each of these other things, because uh, you use them to interact with certain curios to get loot, and. Uh, I like to get as much loot as I can, because I'm a greedy person. Um, so yeah, let's just go with that. Go ahead and embark. This first dungeon is scripted, I'm pretty sure, although I can't remember exactly what's in here. It's been a little while since I played again. Um, but every other dungeon after this will be random, I'm pretty sure. Even like the boss dungeons uh, will be random. So yeah, we start out in this room, and then we can move on to other rooms walking through the hallway. So let's go ahead and get started. As we go, the torchlight will go become dimmer, um, and people will become st stressed. You get more stressed the lower your torch is at, um, and when your torch is higher, you have a, sky a higher scouting chance and a higher chance of the monsters being surprised. And I like both of those things. But when the torch is lower, you have a better chance of loot. Um, but with a group like this, I don't. I'm not worried about getting like tons and tons of loot. Um, go ahead and use incision on this guy. Oh, you almost killed him too. If you had gotten the bleed off, you would have gotten there. 
I'm going to go ahead and use Grape Shot here, because it will kill this dude off as long as it hits. Oh, sweet. Shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that as long as it hits part. Alright, you kill him off. Thank you. The fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And smite that guy. Sweet. Remind go ahead and move this unlocked killer. We got a journal page. Journal of Darius Highwayman, 6 out of 6. My end, I scrawl this. A victim of cruel fortune who took me up on my wager for I have lost my lucky coin and now I'll lie helpless as my blood flows swiftly from my ruined body. My fingers are cold. It was not. It was no trap nor raving cultist that sealed my fate. We were ambushed by strange undulating shapes, two small ent entities that I cannot hope to describe, and a third, much larger beast. Poor, poor Moira was crushed into a pulp as Therion defended her. He soon lost his arm and his wits left him. Shambler, shambler, he kept shrieking as raven yanked him to flee. I tried to play the hero to buy them a few moments, blew away one of the smaller monsters, last shot, then smashed into the wall, the big one. Maybe they made it out. Uh, yeah, there's like a bunch of notes you can find in this game. And we found one of them. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and keep moving. Even the, the rubble with a shovel. seems bent on preventing passage. <sighs> And another random fight in the hallway. Um, I want to kill this thing first. Those things, uh, they do stress damage, and while you can heal health damage off pretty easily, that's a lot harder to heal stress, da stress damage off in the dungeon. Sweet. You're really doing your job, Dismas. Really getting that stuff done. So glad that you're on the team. Um, go ahead and play grenade this chick. Uh... So she's gonna take four damage per round from blight, which is nice. Jeez, this is getting hit hard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and single target heal him. And let's smite this guy. Another one falls. All right, so she's taking four damage per round. She's got 12 health. I could play grenade her again. Which should bring it up to 8, if she doesn't resist it, which she did. Alright, come on. So yeah, she'll die the next time she moves, but I would have liked for her to die this time. Um, just party heal. Should be fine. And... can you kill him? No. No, you cannot. Alright, she's dead, so open vein. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Just uh, give him bolting vapors. Why not? Go ahead and party heal once again. And see you later. The slow death unforeseen. Plus twenty percent move resist and minus one speed. Okay. I should have let that torch go in here. Thankfully there was nothing in here, but I didn't get a scout off. I have to explore 90% of the rooms. So I don't have to go here if I don't want to. But I may do it anyway, depending on the state of the party. And this is one of the reasons why Kleptomaniac, Kleptomaniac is bad. He uh, stole that key and that 250 gold. Wonderful. Um... The other reason it's bad is he could go... Not all Kyrios give you good things. Sometimes they give you bad things. He could go touch something that gives us a bad thing. Or gives him a bad thing. Forgot to light the torch going in here, but they're still surprised, which is nice. Um, play grenade. That chick again. See if we can kill her off the right way this time. I'm gonna go ahead and stun this dude, if I can. Sweet. Alright, shoot her. There you go. That should take care of her. Yes, it does. See, you can stun this guy. Ah, sweet mess. Way to go, Frizzle. Great is the weapon Frizz Frizzle? Miss Frizzle? Ooh, 
surges as the Ooh, enemy crumbles. Renault. Success. Heirloom so chest. Pretty sure if I use a key here, it will unlock or hidden compartments. Is it merely a trick of the light? The way is lit. The path I could is use clear. a bandage on him, but you require only the strength to follow it. Sweet. Um, I was wondering if I may run into something that requires a bandage. I keep forgetting to light the torch. Preoccupied. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come down here. Another trap. Nice dodge. Okay, another battle. Thankfully they're all surprised again. That's why I try to keep the torch as high as I can, or at least three. Jeez, come on, bro. Can't have you missing like that. Um, yeah, you need to heal him. I also keep getting minimum rolls on my heals, which is great. Done that guy. This is going to do four, so we need six damage to kill him. Grave shot's three to four. Jeez. Man. Oof. Unbalanced. Oh, that's not good. Uh, yeah. You should heal on him. Alright, as long as that lights him. Okay, he'll be dead next turn. Uh, stun this dude. Try to take as little damage as I can. Of course, they're focusing on this dude. On, I, can, I don't know his name. I don't bother to learn people's names. They could die at any second. Uh, I think party heal. Everybody needs, everybody needs it. Jeez, that's two crits right in this same fight. Um. Okay, took him out. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. He's out. And he's got stun resist, so just smack him. You didn't smack him hard enough. You gonna crit him too? Okay. Well, that was a rough fight. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Pretty sure if we use holy water in this, we get any benefits, which we do. I was trying to decide if I wanted the healing on him or him, but he also had stress healing to do. There is a curio here. Let's just go ahead and see what it is. It's a sack of loot. I could backtrack back to that door, but you get stress for backtracking, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, there's a fight here. Do I want to do this fight? I don't think I do. We'll go. We'll go around this way. I kind of got riggedy wrecked in the last fight, and I don't think you get more experience the more fights you do. So let's just go around. Oh, of course you proc kleptomaniac. Six food and eight crests. I would have liked those eight crests. Yeah, so like, because the light is shadowy. Extra stress, monsters get extra accuracy and damage, and heroes are surprised more. We also get more loot and player crits go up. So like, if you, one thing you can do, is if you go through the dungeon and because of scouting you know there's no fights left, you can just snuff out the torches and just loot everything like that um i've taken some pretty hard hits i'm gonna go ahead and just return i think there's one more fight we could do but i'm a little wary of it so we got three hundred thirty 
3,300 gold, and plus this 3,000 gold, and then eight crests. These two got to level one. No one gained a twerk, twerk or a, a trait or a quirk. And my life, I could feel we will go ahead and call it an episode there. The I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button down below as well as uh, subscribe to the channel so you know when I post new content. And hit me up with comments. Um, have you ever played Darkest Dungeon before? And if you did, did you enjoy it? Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.